Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Google form and it's very similar to JotForm, SurveyMonkey, things of that nature. Um, however, one thing that's really awesome with regards to using Google is all the responses that you get in a form automatically fill and populate into a Google spreadsheet. And then from there you can handle it as you would any Excel document or Google spreadsheet document um, with matter of sorting and filtering and everything like that. Um, and the main reason I'm doing this particular video is I recently um, created a form to gather people's contact information because I want to be a better human and send out birthday cards, um, surprise random gifts to friends um, and family and clients. And I'd like to have everything in one central location um, that gives me the information in a format I need. Um, there are certainly a lot of CRM systems out there, um, but in my case, I love working with spreadsheets. And once I created that and sent it to a number of people, I had a number of people say, hey, this is a really great idea. People who haven't worked with Google Docs asked how I did it. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a blog post um, and video on how to do this. So, of course, um, we're talking about creating a Google form, so you do need to have a Google account. Um, so if you have Gmail, you have a Google account. Once you're logged into Google, you can see over on the right-hand side my information. I'm up here. Yay. Um, and you want to click on the, the little Google Apps box here, which is the nine little squares lined up. And you want to go into Google Drive. And from there, um, I'm not going to get into how to organize your Google Drive account um, because I have other videos on that. Um, and if you have questions, feel free to ask and I'm happy to record some more. Um, however, um, I'm going to, um, for now, I'm not going to create this form in a folder just because I don't want folder content showing on a video that's going to go out on YouTube. Um, however, um, best advice is create folders um, very similar to how you'd create folders on my documents on your hard drive and create that form within that folder. Again, I'm skipping the creating within a folder just because I don't want it to have to like edit stuff out. So from the left-hand corner, you're going to go ahead and click New once you're in Google Drive. And you want to go down here to More if you need to and click Google Forms. And I'm going to call this Michelle's, Michelle's Fun Day Form. All right. Title. Um, I don't know if you saw as I started doing this, this is just a description. Untitled question. Um, you could see the little dots there that lets you drag things around. So I'm just going to add five real quick questions here. Um, in the case of the contact form, I ask for their name, email, phone number, address, birth month, and birth day, like the actual date on the calendar. A um, couple of reasons for that. One, remember I'm keeping this as a central contact location for clients, friends, and family. And what I'm trying to do is once I have everything, like people have filled the form out for me, I want to be able to look, I want to filter the results by birth month. So I know like, okay, here are all the people who have birthdays in December. Here are all the people who have birthdays in January. So that I know, hey, go ahead and get working on getting their cards out. Cause I'm going to try to do this as a once a month or maybe every other week. Um, type thing. So just kind of give some thought to how you want to manipulate the data once it's in a Google spreadsheet and that will help you determine what manner you want to use for your forms when you're creating the form rather. So I don't want this to be a multiple choice. I'm going to actually, I want this to be a short answer. So we're just going to say name. Um, I could put a further description here under short answer text if I needed to. However, I certainly hope that that is um, self-explanatory, although if I were creating this, I would say full name or first name or last name um, because name, if you want first and last, there are people who will just give you their first, um, so try to give as much context as possible. All right, and we're going to add another field, question, phone number, um, and I'm picking a couple different types here for a reason. Okay, we're going to do short answer. And where is a conditional formatting? Ah, I did not want to do a section. Um, however, now you see how that happens. Um, 
So we'll end up doing that. Um, oh, here we go, data validation. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not 100% sure how Haley did that for me. Um, so if you need to know that, let me know and I'll go chase down the answer for you. But let's just say, oh, maybe it's, oh, I know what she did. I do remember. Ah. Why is this not letting me click here under short answer text? Okay, we do want to say this is required, so I do want to go ahead and click that. I want to put a short answer text in there, but it's not letting me. So you know what, Google, forget you. I'm going to skip that part right now. Um, section two, um, okay, so I'm going to say birth month. Oh, this is section two. Section. Okay, I'm going to add a question. Okay, drop down. Oh, look at that, add all. All right, required. See, Google is so smart, right? Um, um, check box, so check box is if you wanna allow people to select multiple options. Then you're gonna add in your days. And I'm just pretending here, right? So I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. And then, um, okay, multiple choice, add all. These are our options, yes, no, maybe. And we could also add other, um, where people could say, a different answer however in this case this is definitely a yes no you know type thing but just know you can add other meaning I have an, an, an answer that's not here and of course we're here so we're like oh, okay you know what? we want to duplicate this because now we want to ask them if they like caramels so now I'm gonna I duplicated that by clicking that little thing there well you know what is that the right way to spell that I'm not 100% sure okay um, Add images, add videos, add sections, etc., etc. Here we go. Okay, so we have that, right? And then we see that there's a thing here. It's gonna go ahead and create responses, accepting responses. You can, let's say you decide, oh, you wanna like move a field around. You can grab those little boxes and do that. Oh, I changed my mind. I really do want it this way. Again, if you want something required, go ahead and require it. There's um, data validation things, um, type things you can go through. Uh, all this, all this fun stuff that you get to get do, right? So then we're going to, you could send this to someone from here. You can change the colors if you want. Like, oh, I don't like purple, I like blue. You can see what this looks like. This is not the fill-in version. This is just the, the view version. And get, Can we actually fill that version in? I don't know that we can. Let's find out, shall we? I wanted to add text there that said, please fill out in this format. Click the next button number must be greater than zero. Okay, so the next thing is always test your forms uh, because that is where you will find out if you have an issue. Oh, here we go. Okay, 
So I wonder what will happen now. Let's try that. Oh, okay, good. It did, it did do it. Birth month. Now you can see we have a drop down box. This is fantastic. Favorite day to get emails. Tuesday and Wednesday. Absolutely. Absolutely. Next one. Thank you so much. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to just enter one more, submit another response. And I have no idea if that's how that is spelled. His phone number is the same. Oh, nope, it's different. Uh, birth month, October. No, maybe. So now let's go back to our form. So remember here in responses, we have the sheet, right? So we're going to oh, oh. find my day. Okay, I probably screwed this up. Oh, no, here we go. So here's the completed document. And so what I was saying before with creating my contact form is I have all these people that are filling these things in and my list is getting longer and longer, which is awesome. So now I can filter the data. Because remember I mentioned the scenario where I want to pull up birthdays for a particular month. Of course, this isn't the best scenario to show this because it would be really great if I had like five entries in one month or something and then a couple others like sprinkled in. But this allows you to start seeing how your data pulls through. So if you do want to edit it, edit it before you send the form out to a bunch of people. And that's where another reason why testing it yourself comes in really handy. And then you can also um, start playing with the data the way that you'd like to. So this is the form that you would use to send to your friends. You either send through here, or as we saw, the preview link works. So you could send them that link. You'd be the only person that would be reviewing the responses here. So the people filling out the form itself don't actually see the information in this format, this quote unquote Excel format. And of course, if you have any questions um, or need a little bit further help on something, let me know and I'd be happy to help out if I can.